The Siberian Husky is a seriously impressive breed. They are very high energy dogs with a strong willed mindset that have been incredibly popular globally due to their stunning appearance. In today's video, we'll be comparing this strong and powerful breed with the Caucasian Shepherd Dog, a loyal guardian and headstrong character. Welcome back to the Fenrir Husky Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Hattie. I'm a certified canine leader here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com and this channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything you could possibly want to know about the Siberian Husky and then how to become high level canine leaders that can raise perfect Huskies. So if you're a lifelong Husky lover, you're thinking about getting one or you've just started your journey with your new pup, then this channel is for you. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn the notification bell so you never miss a future Husky video. So let's dive right into today's video and look at these two breeds, their similarities and their differences. Firstly, let's take a look at the breed's histories. It's believed that the Siberian Husky originated among a tribe of Siberian nomads known as the Chukchi. The dog's history is pretty unknown, but according to DNA tests that have been done, they appear to be among the oldest of the dog breeds. The Chukchi tribe used the dog as fast transportation and as a family dog. The Huskies would often sleep where the children did and provided warmth for them in the cold climate. The Husky was imported to Alaska in 1908 and were used as sled dogs. It is said that the final Siberian Husky was exported from Siberia in 1930 when the borders were shut by the Soviet government, but the breed continued on in North America. The Caucasian Shepherd Dog is thought to be one of the oldest and most ancient Molassa breeds, but their specific origin is very much a mystery. They're said to hail from the Caucasus mountain region and have been around for over 2,000 years. Many believe that these incredibly powerful dogs came from domesticated wolves, but others believe that their ancestors must include mastiffs. Another theory is that the Caucasian Shepherd descended from sheepdogs from Tibet, however there is evidence suggesting the breed dates even further back. The breed was widely used as herding dogs, but companions of the shepherds of the Caucasus region when they would fiercely guard and protect the sheep and the shepherd from dangerous wildlife including wolves and bears. They were known for being incredibly fearless, strong and intimidating dogs with incredible resilience to cold and harsh climates. Although over the years this remarkable breed has been used as an intimidating guard dog, they are now mostly family companions, watchdogs and property guardians. The Caucasian Shepherd Dog is an extremely large dog. Males tend to be larger than the females and weigh around 110 to 220 pounds, whilst females are between 100 and 180 pounds. Depending on the type of dog, they can weigh more or less. Mountain dogs are more muscular while plain dogs are more leaner. Male Caucasian Shepherd Dogs are generally about 27 to 30 inches at the shoulder and females are between 25 and 28 inches. The breed itself is actually considered to be a giant breed. The Siberian Husky massively differs to the Caucasian Shepherd Dog in size. Generally a male Husky stands between 21 to 23.5 inches at the shoulder and females are usually around 20 to 22 inches tall. Male Huskies weigh from 45 to 60 pounds and females weigh 35 to 50 pounds. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt the video. I just wanted to quickly let you know, if you didn't know already, I have a completely free course on the principles of canine behavior. As a canine behaviorist, I've put this together with my years of experience, skill set, and knowledge to help you understand all the areas of canine behavior that are important for you to become a high level canine leader. And then you can fix your dog's problem behaviors at home or maybe take the first steps into working with dogs with problem behaviors. So again, if you want to check out that course, it's completely free of charge. The principles of canine behavior, there'll be a link down in the description box below, and I can't wait to see you over on that course. Huskies come in a vast variety of coat colors and markings, from black to pure white with colored markings on the body, which includes reds and coppers. The breed is highly recognizable by its sharp eyes, which can be brown, blue, or a combination. Their faces also have mask markings, which make their eyes stand out even more. There are three different coat lengths that can be seen in Caucasian Shepherd dogs, long, medium, and short. The longer their hair is, then the more distinct the mane is around their necks and the feathering around their back legs and tails. All three lengths are thick coats with a double layer, soft and fine undercoat with a coarse and long outer coat. They can be several different colors, including gray, fawn, red, cream, tan, pure white, brindle, and can include patches and markings. It is super important to consider the potential health conditions that your dog could be prone to, as you will need to be able to afford the care for them as they need. The Caucasian Shepherd Dog is mostly considered to be a healthy breed, but as a giant dog breed, they can be prone to conditions including hip and elbow dyspatia, alongside other conditions like cataracts, obesity, and bloat. 
Huskies are generally healthy dogs, but again, as with all dog breeds, you should be aware of the certain health conditions that are, they are more prone to than others. For the Husky, this includes hip and elbow dysplasia, bone conditions, hypothyroidism, and eye conditions like cataracts. Siberian Huskies are pack dogs that look to a leader for guidance. However, that being said, they are also incredibly independent and strong-willed dogs and can easily do their own thing. They are highly intelligent, and so training can be both easy and hard. They learn quickly, but not just commands that you teach them, they can easily learn what not to do, which will need to be corrected in a calm and consistent manner. Training a headstrong dog like the Siberian Husky is a challenge and definitely requires someone that is familiar with the breed and the time and effort that is needed for such a breed. They are high energy dogs that need lots of exercise and different activities to prevent boredom as they can become destructive if they are unable to keep busy. Huskies love their families and love to play and with early socialization and proper training, they can be incredible family companions. The Caucasian Shepherd Dog is a very capable dog and can be a loving and loyal family dog as well as a fierce protector, which they most likely are due to their natural instinct to protect. However, they are naturally distrustful of strangers and tend not to take well to unfamiliar dogs and animals. Generally, they're a laid back, low energy breed, but they are also highly territorial and courageous characters. They are highly intelligent, but can be very stubborn, which makes training them pretty difficult. A lot of patience and consistency is definitely needed. Training and socialization of the Caucasian Shepherd dog should start from a really young age, especially as they grow into such large and strong dogs, which will make them very difficult to handle if not properly trained. With humans that they are familiar with, so their family, they are loving and devoted and make for an incredible guardian and protector. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If so, make sure you hit that like button, get involved down in the comment section below, and don't forget that if you're new here to make sure you subscribe. We have two dedicated Husky videos coming here every week. So I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the Fenrir Husky Show.